Okay, in this video we're going to look at the rational points on the unit circle. So in, the, in this picture we have the unit circle. In other words, we have all of the points described by the equation x squared plus y squared equals 1. So that's in yellow. And then I've also written, drawn a line here starting at this point, which is like the north pole of the circle, 0, 1, which I've called A, and then intersecting again at B. And what we'll show is that the characterization of the rational points on this circle is given by the slope of this line. And in fact, we're going to prove this proposition, that this point B has rational coordinates if and only if the slope of L is rational. So let's do the easy way first, which is this way. Good, so in other words, we're going to suppose that B equals We'll call it maybe x naught, y naught, and let's say this is in Q2. In other words, those are both rational coordinates. Great. And now we can use the point-slope form of the line um, to find the equation of L. Or maybe we'll just find the slope. Okay, and now we can use the slope formula for a line to find the slope of L. So let's do that. So we'll say m sub l is given by the change in y divided by the change in x. Okay, so obviously we know that the change in y is the y part of b minus the y part of a. So this equals y naught minus 1 over x naught minus 0. Good. Which gives us y naught minus 1 over x naught, and that's clearly a rational number because rational numbers can be combined in that way to get a new rational number. Okay, good. So now let's go with the other direction, which will be the following. So let's suppose the slope of L is rational. And then let's write the equation of L as follows. So let's say L is defined by this following equation, y equals mx plus 1. Notice we know uh, that the y-intercept will be 1 just by the fact that we're intersecting it with this uh, north pole of the circle. And here, just to be thorough, we know that m is a rational number. So m is in Q. Okay, good. And so now this intersection point B... is going to be given as a solution to the following equation where we plug in this value of y, in other words, the value of y that's on the line with the equation of the unit circle. In other words, x squared plus mx plus 1 squared equals 1. Okay, good. So finding that intersection point, um, Okay, so that intersection point is going to depend on m, and then we'll use the fact that m is rational to show that the x-coordinate of the intersection point and the y-coordinate of the intersection point are both rational. So I'll clean up the board, I'll bring this equation to the top, and then we'll finish it off. Okay, so we ended with this equation right here, x squared plus mx plus 1 squared equals 1. Solving this equation will give us the x-coordinate of b. So let's expand this out. So we can expand this out and get x squared plus m squared x squared plus 2mx plus 1 equals 1. So I can take this equation and simplify it. So I can remove the 1 from each side of the equation, and then I can factor an x out of the left-hand side of the equation, and that's going to give us the following. So we'll have x times x plus m squared x plus 2m equals 0 which is going to give us two solutions. That will give us the solution x equals 0 or um, x times 1 plus m squared plus 2m equals 0. And we can solve the second one for x, so that gives us x equals negative 2m over 1 plus m squared. Okay, good. And then, so x equals 0, we don't really need to worry about that one because that's our north pole, which corresponds to y equals 1. That's the thing that we started with. So now let's look at this x coordinate of 0. And so you can plug this in to this equation, and what you'll see is you get the following equation for y. 
So you'll get y equals 1 minus m squared over 1 plus m squared. Great. Which means this intersection point B is of the form minus 2m over 1 plus m squared, comma, 1 minus m squared over 1 plus m squared, which that's clearly uh, a rational point given the fact that m starts off being rational. Okay, good. So uh, I'm going to clean up the board and then I'm going to state a much more general result involving all quadratic curves. We won't prove that, but we'll wave our hands at what the proof will be. Okay, so this strategy that we just used to describe the rational points on the unit circle can in fact be used to describe the rational points on any quadratic curve. And I've just laid it out in this fact, which I'll go over. And feel free to pause it if you need to read it more in depth. So if we consider vertical lines to have rational slope, and so notice if this red line has a vertical line, that's going to give us this south pole down here, which obviously has rational points. So we will have to consider vertical lines to have rational slope. <laughs> Then all rational points on quadratic curves can be found as the second intersection point of a line with rational slope and a known intersection point. So in other words, we have a known intersection point, and then what we do is we tick this red line over to all rational slopes, and what that will give us is all rational intersection points with the curve. Okay, good. So, just as a sketch of what's going on here, let's say we have another quadratic curve. So we'll take as an example a hyperbola. So let's say we have this hyperbola. Good. And let's say this right here is our known rational point. So what we can do is take this known rational point, take a uh, line through this known intersect rational point, like maybe uh, this line right here. So let's say this has rational slope, and then this is going to be a new rational point. So we started with a known rational point, and we used here a rational slope, and that allows us to generate a new rational point. Okay, so the idea behind this is the following. Rational curves. Sorry, quadratic curves are going to be in general of the form ax squared plus bx plus cy squared plus dy equals e. Great. And then what you can do is say that x naught y naught is in Q squared is a known uh, rational point and then uh, set let's say we need uh, y equals m x minus x zero plus y zero where m is rational and find the second intersection point good Okay, so uh, this is a powerful technique for finding uh, rational points on quadratic curves. Okay, so we're finished with the video.